We put an Arkin U1 countertop RO unit to the test using a certified third-party lab. We had a few extremely concerning contaminants in our water and I wanted to see how well the system performed. Would I still recommend it? Stay tuned to find out. Before I dive into the results, I want to clarify that this system was tested in real life conditions with a water sample that had a limited range of contaminants that were already present. We did not intentionally add contaminants to the sample for testing purposes. Because this is just one single test, it's important to call out that the results are not comprehensive or conclusive. For testing, we used TAPScore, an easy to use service that relies on a national network of certified labs. They provide a test kit via mail with simple instructions to fill the collection vials and return them using the included prepaid shipping label. And to ensure testing accuracy, we followed a process provided by the experts at the lab. We filled a large bucket with water and swirled it around to make sure it was thoroughly mixed. We then filled the U1 with water from the bucket, took the pre-filtration water sample directly from the bucket, and then took the post-filtration sample from the U1. One. Hit the like button if you want to see us keep testing water filters and making videos like this one. Also, let me know in the comments which filter you'd like to see us test next. The U1 was extremely effective at removing most of the contaminants from the water. The system did especially well removing chloride, copper, fluoride, lead, molybdenum, phosphorus, uranium, and zinc, which were all reduced by 100%. The post-filtration polishing filter effectively reintroduced minerals to the filtered water and increased the pH from 7.4 to a more alkaline 8.1. As a result, a lower TDS reduction of 79% aligned with our expectations, considering the slight increase in TDS caused by the remineralization filter. Barium was reduced by 37%, calcium by 84%, but again, this number isn't as high because these minerals are actually being added back in through remineralization. Magnesium was reduced by 93%, nitrate by 90%, sodium by 87%, and sulfate by 78%. Interestingly, strontium actually increased by 2,140% from just 0.1 to 2.42 ppm. The best possible explanation for this is that there are traces of strontium in the remineralization filter media. And although this small amount of strontium is being added, at least we see it is still below the health guideline level of 3 ppm. The Arkin U1 did a great job at reducing most of the contaminants from our water, especially the uranium, fluoride and lead, which were the most concerning in our sample. The lower reduction percentage of calcium indicates the remineralization filter stage is working to add those ions back into the purified water, as well as increase the pH to make it more alkaline. It was interesting to see the spike in strontium levels, but I'm happy that it was still below the health guideline level, and it's also something I'm gonna bring up with the manufacturer, as well as keep my eyes on for future tests. If you wanna purchase the Arkin U1, there's a link in the description. And if you wanna check out more of our water filter testing content, stick around and click or tap the screen right now to keep watching.